Hello and welcome to your Fast 5 tutorial on CapCut. Now I'm going to be using the desktop version here and one of my best practices is to create a folder directly onto my desktop with all of the materials for my particular project that I'm working on. This way I find it easier to import those files into the CapCut application. Now if you're using your smartphone device, I will link in the description box below um, how to do those tutorials, um, but I find it easier using this interface. Now there are three main panels that you're going to become familiar with, the content, video player, and details. Now the video playhead is at the bottom and that's the tool that you're going to position all of your clips and your layers for your particular project. So once I've imported all of my content, I prefer not using the grid view. So I change that into the line view and I can see the layout of the different clips that I have. Now you can also sort them by date, created, etc. But the green plus sign here is gonna allow me to then lay them out in my video playhead according to the order of my storyboard. Now you're going to notice here that some of these images are different from my storyboard um, because I'm doing this as a tutorial on CapCut. Now the ratio over here means how are you going to use this presentation? Now you can design it as a TikTok video, as a YouTube video, which is a 16 by 9, or in my case here, I'm going to be using this as an Instagram post eventually, but you need to talk to your teacher about how he or she wants to use this particular project. Um, I love the layering effect that it allows you to do here in the video playhead. So you can be very creative with your content and the particular lines and layers of your ultimate video that you're gonna be doing. Um, please note, you have lots of text feature options in the free version. So you can play along and play around with these particular features. Now, I personally like to change colors, add different effects, and I think about the types of effects that I want to use in my video because they need to enhance, not detract from the message that I intend for my audience. So again, this detailed panel allows you to see all of the different features and ways you can individualize your CapCut video for this project. Please keep in mind this mantra, simplify to amplify. Why do I use that here? Is because you want your audience to focus on your messaging. What are you trying to say about yourself in this me, myself, and I, and the world project. For myself, I am an individual who is an introvert. I am somebody who recharges in nature. So you're gonna see a lot of views of nature, being outside. I'm somebody who walks a lot, who hikes a lot. Um, I'm also somebody who's analytical. So you're gonna see the computer science and the ed tech components. So simplify to amplify within those properties and those details panels. The other thing I wanna stress with this class is once you import that video, you want to mute that video in your playhead. Please keep in mind as you build your project, take a look at it in the full view. That'll help you simplify anything that might be distracting. So I'm gonna scrub my video playhead back. I'm going to test out different text. Also, you wanna ensure that the script or the font that you choose is readable to most audience members. Some of them are very fancy and they look great, but then some people can't read them. So you want to be sure that you're choosing a font that enhances what you're saying in that section of your video. All right, so I think we're pretty close to uh, wrapping up this tutorial. Let's stress one other thing. Let's say you take an image of someone you haven't gotten consent. This distortion layer will allow you to keep their privacy. So I'm gonna stress that again. If you don't have permission, please use that feature. Have fun with all the filters, the transitions, simplify to amplify, and then you're going to hit export.
This has been Miss Green from Not Your Average Tutorial and a special shout out to that Individuals and Societies class.